Representatives have made an official complaint over a government minister's expenses. The employment minister, Tony McNulty, has admitted to claiming money for a house used by his parents, despite living just nine miles away himself. Mr McNulty admitted the arrangement appeared odd, but insisted he hadn't broken any rules. The Tories said the expenses claim was not defensible and asked the Commissioner on Standards in Public Life to investigate. Gary O'Donoghue reports. Until 2002, Tony McNulty lived partly in this house he owns in Harrow, north of London, with his parents. But after his marriage, he moved into this house in West London, owned by his new wife. However, it's emerged he continued to claim public money to pay for the house where his parents lived. And some in this house aren't happy. Tony McNulty stopped claiming the additional costs allowance for a second home in January this year because he says he no longer needed it. I think in compliance terms uh, I've complied with uh, all the rules but as I tried to say to the piece there is a bigger issue about the additional cost allowance uh, and uh, how people use it. I'm not casting aspersions on any of my colleagues but I think as other people have said there, there remains uh, an issue about it. MPs are allowed to claim for a second home. They can get up to £24,000 a year. But there are rules. Arrangements have to be above reproach and MPs have to ensure that public funds must not benefit you or someone close to you. We have a case here of uh, a government minister who, it's worth remembering, is paid uh, significantly more than an MP to start with, then claiming MP second home allowances on a place uh, uh, where his parents live. I mean, the, clearly that cannot be right. The Home Secretary, Jackie Smith, has also had questions raised about her use of the second home allowance, currently being looked at by a parliamentary watchdog. And back in 2003, the Conservative Michael Trend was forced to pay back £90,000 for wrongly claiming allowances for his main home in Windsor. The trouble is that members of Parliament rather see these allowances as an extension of their salary and remuneration rather than specifically to support them in their work as a member of Parliament. There are some changes to the second home allowance already in the pipeline. This latest controversy is likely to lead to wider calls for more substantial reform. Well, Gary is at uh, Westminster for us now. Gary, is there a case to answer here? Well, Tony McNulty himself described the thing as a little bit odd, but really the question has to be answered by the parliamentary watchdog. That's the parliamentary commissioner for standards. And the Conservatives this lunchtime have put a complaint into him about Mr McNulty's use of the second homes allowance. Now, what happens then is he will take a look at that and he will decide whether or not a full investigation is warranted. At that stage, if he decides to go down that route, he'll take evidence and there'll be a recommendation to a group of MPs who will then decide what action to take against Mr McNulty. At this stage, of course, he's done nothing wrong, but if anything is proved against him, then he could face being asked to pay the money back or in extreme circumstances, he could be suspended. And whatever happens in this particular case, there does uh, appear to be a groundswell of opinion now that things in general must change. Look, it, it seems like we're getting one case a week like this now, whether it's the second homes allowance, other MPs' expenses, whether it's their staffing allowances. They have tried to make attempts at reform. There are some new measures coming in next month, but we, see, we still seem to get these case after case coming through. I think the time is probably coming close where there'll have to be some really substantial reform of these allowances to put things on a much more firm footing so that there isn't this constant barrage and constant attack on politicians' reputations, which doesn't do them any good. Gary, thanks. Our political correspondent Gary O'Donoghue at Westminster.